All right. So welcome. <laughs> We're live now. We're good. Uh, the Send Me podcast. Um, thank you for coming. I appreciate you coming. Everybody, we have uh, Price here. I'm going to have him tell us his entire story. So thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. All right. So what I want to do is start off with um, growing up, you know, I mean, what was what was uh, home life like? Um, grew up in Hayward. I was born in 1962, so I'm an old fart right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, um, typical, you know, Puerto Rican family, very strict, you know. Um, my mom and dad didn't take no crap from us, you know, so, uh, yeah. Um, but. You know, I mean, I wouldn't have had any other way because, yeah. you know, I mean, I probably wouldn't have ended up where I'm at now if it wouldn't been for that discipline. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but um, big family. I mean, and, you know, I mean, uh, my dad had uh, uh, four brothers and one sister. My mom had five sisters and one brother, wow. you know, so you can see the expansion from there you yeah know, they all had Huge. kids and you know now their kids are having kids and then those kids are having kids so you yeah. know, we're on the great-grandchildren now um for you know a lot of the family um and then not talking about um you know how many um family um that i have in hawaii that I have in puerto rico so um yeah it's, a, it's a your huge family's family. all puerto rican yeah sure. well I mean, now it's kind of mixed now. We yeah. have, you know, we have white Mexicans, we have black, we have just, yeah. you know, but, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it's a, it was a great family, um, especially when we used to have holidays and stuff, big parties and, you know, the Puerto Rican food flowing and, oh, yeah. you know, and just, yeah. I so, love that. Just, yeah. Arroz con gandules. Exactly. And, <laughs> and pasteles, you know. Pasteles, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. All yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cool. So in Hayward, uh, what what school did you go to? I went to San Lorenzo. Um, well, I, you know, went to Ashland, which is no longer there. I went to Edendale, which is still there, which is a junior high school. And then I went to San Lorenzo. Okay. Yeah. Play any sports? Yeah. Played football, wrestled. Um, yeah. And then started playing, started wrestling when I was 10 and started playing football when I was 10, Pop Warner. Okay. And then went from there, you know, so. Yeah. Nice. All right. And what, what did you prefer to play? Football, football, <laughs> of course, okay. because I was so small. You know, it's a great sport for a small guy. You know, but I loved it. I love football. Yeah, so, yeah. What position? Yeah. I was running back. Running yeah. back. Yeah. Nice. Okay. And then um, from there, where did you graduate? Which uh, I graduated in 1980. Um, and uh, you know, my mom. You know, my dad was kind of more like, yeah, you know, do what you want. But my mom was like, you know, trying to push me to go to college. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I'm not happy. Yeah. I just, I can't, I, you know. And the, was was the it only, in the cards? No, yeah. I mean, because all through high school, the only reason why I, you know, stayed in school and got decent grades, I mean, I wasn't the greatest student, but I had decent grades, was because of sports. I had yeah. to get the grades. Yeah, yeah, average, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah. I can relate. I can relate to that. <laughs> I played football, too. Yeah. And that was the, my whole thing. Yeah. Just let me get a 2.0. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. That's all I need. Just enough to be able to keep my grades up. So, yeah, I mean, so um, once I graduated, you know, I started, you know, reflecting, you know, trying to figure out, because I graduated when I was 17. Mm -hmm. Um and uh and actually you know got go moved back a little bit so you know as my as i'm getting closer to graduation i'm thinking you know what the hell am i going to do you know <laughs> i mean <clears throat> i know um i knew i wanted to be a police officer and so i was like you know um i'm going to have to you know either go to college or figure out another way to you know do this so i started looking into the military and started, you know, figuring out, you know, how could I, you know, and I said, oh, they got MPs, they got, you know, different police services in the um, military, mm -hmm. um, which then, you know, led, led me to uh, find out, you know, okay, you know, what's the, you know, I mean, I know there's a big argument, you know, among the different branches of who's the best, yeah. you know, <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I decided to go in the Marine Corps because of all the stuff I read and just everything, you know, about the, um you know, the traditions and things yeah. like that. So, um, yeah, so I went to the recruiting office on my own. My parents didn't even know um, and uh, talked to the guy. And he said, yeah, we can do this, this, and this. He goes, but unfortunately, he goes, you're going to have to tell your parents because you're only 17 if you want to sign now. And I'm like, yeah. 
this is not going to go good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you thought mom was going to take it harder than dad oh, or, yeah. or both? Oh, yeah. No, my dad was just like, you know, so, uh, you know, so I come home, um, you know, one day and I go, okay, I need to sit down with you guys because I got to talk to you. So we sat down at the <laughs> kitchen table there and, you know. And then I said, no, you know, no parent wants to hear that those words, right? Yeah, you know, <laughs> pretty much, you know. And I told him, I said, uh, well, you know, I, you know, first I want to apologize because you know I'm not going to go to college. I mm. said I just can't. I just it's not for me. Um, and so my dad's just sitting there, just you know, my my dad yeah. was just you know <laughs> yeah. he was just one of those guys, yeah. just quiet, you know, just listening, you know. <laughs> and my mom's like, well, you need to go to college, but you know, whatever. And so I said, well, I got a backup plan. And I said, uh, I'm joining the Marine Corps. And my mom's like, absolutely not. You know, and she's just going <laughs> off, you know, and, you know, you don't, you know, you don't need to go into the service, you know, and everything. And I says, okay, but my mind is made up. And she goes, we're well, not even 18 yet. So, you know, yeah. no, I can, as long as you guys sign yeah. the paperwork, you know. And uh, my mom's like, well, I'm not signing it. And I says, well, you know what, mom? I said, you can either sign it now or I'll wait till I turn 18 and then sign it then. You yeah. know? And uh, my dad kind of looked at me and he looked at my mom and he goes, Jane, sign the paperwork. You know? Uh, yeah. Huh? And he took his, he signed first, yeah. you know? And like, <laughs> and because, you know, he knew. Yeah, I mean, you know? yeah, at that point, you already yeah. made up your mind. Yeah. He knew it was, it was, it, it was yeah. going to happen. Yep. Was it going to happen against our will, or was it going to happen where we so yeah. show support? Yeah, yeah. you know, that I mean, I was like... trying to, you know, I was just trying to be respectful and say, you know, I could, you know, but I can do it on my own, you know, if I, you know, I had to wait, you know, yeah. I think like four or five months before I turned eighteen, you know, but, yeah. you know, um, so anyway, so they signed the papers and I got delayed, you know, because it's summertime it's just ridiculous. The Marine Corps has like one hundred and fifty guys in a platoon or something like that, so yeah. I went in February, <laughs> so I waited like another six months before I even went in. Well. So, um, yeah, so, uh, so I'm going to rewind you real quick. Yeah. You, you, you mentioned something you said, I knew I wanted to be a police officer. Right. So when, when did that, that realization come about? Um, probably when I was like 10 or 11, uh, okay. because when I was oh. playing for the Crusaders of Pop Warner, mm -hmm. all the coaches were all police officers. Oh, San Leandro. Okay. Yeah. Got San Leandro, it. a couple of them from other different departments, but majority of them were San Leandro cops. <laughs> So that kind of like, you know, got that bug yeah. in the ear, you yeah. know, just going, huh, that's kind of cool. That's I mean, young. Yeah. Ten, ten to know that you're going to, yeah. you want to do something yeah. and, and stick to that. You yeah. know, I was 10 years old. I wanted to be a NFL player, yeah. you know, I know. And, then, yeah. uh, and, and then I moved yeah. on. To, okay. <laughs> Didn't we all? <laughs> let's, let, let's make a realistic. Yeah. Move. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So you're what, uh, 17. Yeah. You sign up. Um, so. Can you join the Marines at 17, mm -hmm. they'll take you at 17. Yeah, they'll take you, you at 17. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, as long as you get your parents to sign. Um, wow. Is it like a 17 flat or 17 and a half? Kind of like police, you want um, to be 20 and a half to go yeah, to the I academy? Think, I think you have to, If I, and I could be wrong because, you know, it's been so long since I did this, but I think you can sign up at 17, but you can't go into boot camp until you turn 18. Got Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Kind of like police academy, right? 20 yeah. and a half. You got to yeah. graduate when, right. you're, when you're 21. When you're 21. Got exactly. Okay. Yeah. So, man, that's that's got to be crazy. Seventeen years old, yeah. you go into the Marines. Yeah. What what was that like? That was like a shock to the system. It had to be. <laughs> it had to be seventeen. It had to be. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, I mean, I was eighteen when I went to boot camp, but um, yeah. but you know, um, but still, I mean, uh, you know, other than you know, I mean, you know, uh the yelling and screaming that, you know, your parents do to you anyways, you know, especially Puerto Ricans is even, you know, a hundred times more, you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, so I could, yeah, you know, it's amazing how you still remember stuff like this. So I remember, um, leaving, uh, my parents drove me to the airport, Oakland airport mm -hmm. and, uh, get on the plane because the Marine Corps pays for everything. They pay for your flight down to San Diego, you know, all that. So they, they give you the, date and time that you need to show up at the airport, you know, and all that stuff. And then you get on and, uh, flew down to San Diego and then they have a, uh, liaison team that meets, that meets the, uh, oncoming recruits. Yeah. So you find where they're at and then they tell you and you check in and all that stuff. And then they say, okay, go wait over there by the bus and everything, you know, and everything's pretty calm. You know, they're talking to you like a normal person. You know? <laughs> I feel like, oh, this isn't yeah, so bad. This isn't so bad. Exactly. <laughs> And so, uh, 
you know, wait around. The bus comes up, and it's like this gray school bus. You know, it was basically yeah. like those school bus style buses. You know, yeah. and it was gray. And so I'm like, okay, this is like okay, Marine, you know, or you know, okay, gentlemen, or whatever they said. I can't remember exactly. Get on the bus, you know, and uh, you know, take your personal belongings. So they um, made sure that you could only bring like one small bag. Yeah, you know, of personal stuff. You know? Yeah, so. Which, you know, that story goes Were on. your parents with you at the time when you were no. getting... No. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're yeah. by, by yourself? yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, kind of just okay. like, you know, eyes about yeah. that big, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, so get on the bus and driving, you know, another maybe 40 minutes to an hour from the airport to get to MCRD, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, mm -hmm. and um, pull in, you know, and from there it was just, <laughs> it was just all hell broke loose, yeah. you know. This guy gets on the, well, this drill instructor gets on the bus and, you know, I mean, I don't know if you've seen movies of oh, know, yeah, drill of instructors course. coming yeah. on the bus. Yeah. Ex exactly. exactly. Except, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I so mean, like the full metal jacket yeah, is real. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah, no. Full metal jacket is probably the close, uh, well, full metal jacket and the boys in Company C were probably the two Close. movies that showed what boot camp really wow. was. Okay. So this big, yeah, I mean, this guy was a monster, man. <laughs> Had hit almost touching the top of the bus, you know, and he's like, I am drill instructor. Can't remember the dude's name. And he goes, Welcome to San Diego Re Marine Corps Recruit Depot. And he goes, You got 10 seconds to get off the bus, and nine of them are gonna get the fuck off the bus, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> and from there, it just went, you know, and I was, then he's like, Get it, you know. They got three or four of the drill instructors. Like, get on the get on the footprints. Get on because they got these yellow footprints. You got to stand on, you know. Oh, and they make yeah. you know they kick your foot if your if your foot's not a little, on the. Yeah. You no, know, I mean it has to be <laughs> perfect, perfect, right? Yeah. And uh, they're like, anytime you stand up, this is where you're gonna stand. This is where you're gonna, you know, you know, just yelling at you, you know, talking crazy. You know, how did you get in the Marine Corps, Shorty? Yeah. You know, they're talking <laughs> yeah. to me. And I'm just looking. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Myself into? Yeah. Exactly. In the back yeah. of my head, I'm like, what the fuck did I do to myself <laughs> yeah. now? You know, what did you do? So, so were you actually thinking I fucked up? I shouldn't have did this. Yeah. Or were you thinking? Okay, this is what I'm ready for. Yeah. No, no, it was like no, it was oh, like oops. I just yeah, <laughs> yeah. I Got fucked it. my I just fucked myself. Yeah, yeah you know. Got it. Yeah. Um. So, the whole thing. Um. Yeah. Just. Uh, you know, make you know, just talking, just shit, just like you know the stuff they would say, you know. And I look back, it's, and it seems like they find something that really mm, bothers yeah, you. They try and, to, and then they get that. Right? Yeah, yeah, they try to, you know. So. You know, and I'm just sitting there, and then you know, they run to another guy, and they run, and he's you know, just like, you know, so. Anyway, so um, you start, he goes, and I remember they took us uh, to another, to the barracks. Yeah. And so we're not going to even march, because you guys don't even have the discipline of the, you know, what to do. Just walk. Yeah. Just, just slime. <laughs> just be a slimy civilian, you know, just walk over there, you know, so we're all just like, what's going on, right? Yeah. So, you uh you had to go through the whole intake. So they, you know, make sure you, you know, you are, you are you, right. You know, and then you take a picture, you know, to get your ID card, you know, for that. And then you have to, um, then they go through this whole thing where you get your, um, your uniforms, you mm -hmm. know, they get, issue you all these uniforms and then your personal belongings are now not your personal belongings. Yeah. They take them from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's theirs. It's no. theirs now. Yeah. yeah. You'll get this back Just when you like graduate. You. Yeah. You're theirs now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. When they say the, the military, you know, has you, yeah, they have you. Yeah. Um, and so you do the whole thing with the uniforms and the boots and just everything, you know, and I mean, <laughs> it's, you're so like not, don't want to speak up, you know, yeah. that, you know, whatever they give you, you just take. Yeah. My boots yeah. were a size too big for me. I wear a size seven. They were size eight. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, don't say shit. Just, yeah. You know, I'll double up my socks or whatever I had to do. Right. I mean, it's, it's it, yeah. They, yeah. I mean, it just, yeah, it's a culture shock, culture shock. You know? And so this is beginning of boot camp. Yeah. Okay. So you were 18 at this time. Yeah. Now you're like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So do they... When they bring you into the Marines, do they separate people by like where they come from, or does it not matter? Yeah, the everybody's only, going to the same yeah, spot. The only time that they do that is like so. Basically, they split the United States in half. Okay. So the Midwest, West, and the mid, the middle of East, 
towards the East Coast. Okay. So, you know, like there's a line down the middle, you know, maybe from the Dakotas through Nebraska and then Texas. Okay. So everybody like Texas, you know, from in that way because to San Diego, everybody yeah. from, uh, what is it? What's the next one? Mississippi, Alabama, you know, that way it goes to the okay. East Coast. So they have two boot camps. Got it. One is, one's in South Carolina, one's in San Diego. Okay. Yeah. And you were at? I uh, was in San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. Okay. So usually San Diego is nice to visit. Yeah, usually it is. <laughs> but and it seems the, like that's not. Uh, I mean, I don't. I mean, my here. parents had taken us to San Diego when we were little, and uh, yeah, when I got there, I was just like, okay, this is not the San Diego I remember, no. you know. No. So you know, then the whole thing with the shaving of the head, they shave everybody. Is that you know? day one? Yeah, or? and I mean, my hair is down, you know, to my shoulders. Yeah. And they love when you come in with long hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they love it, man. <laughs> and the guys, the barbers, will start doing you know crazy stuff, making you know different designs in your head. You know, yeah. And, you know. So so. What is the, what is the, the purpose of shaving the head? Is it just to get everybody uniform, or is it more of a like a, a psychological thing, or both? Or it's both, both. yeah. Okay. Because um, in the Marine Corps, there's no there. You know, I mean, and this a lot of people probably won't believe this. There's no race. There's no religion. There's no color. There's no size. There's everybody is the same. Yeah, and Every you learn that if you hadn't already. And I, you know, it's like when I grew up. My parents, you know, always said, you know, everybody is equal. You yeah, know? yeah. You know, it yeah. doesn't matter what color or religion. He goes, you need to get along with everybody. And that's what I, I had friends yeah. from probably, yeah, you know, Rainbow Coalition, we called yeah, ourselves. Because yeah. you know, it was just like, you know, <laughs> everybody, everybody blacks, yeah. whites, Asians, you know, just, you know. So um, I grew up with that. So I didn't have a problem, you know, with other races and stuff like that. So, you know, that's the thing, you know, they don't, and, you know, so they want everybody to be the same. So that's yeah. why we all wear the same uniform. That's why we all have to dress the same. That's why we all have the same haircuts. You know? So you guys were all equally nothing to yes, them. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and you had to earn yeah. it. Together. Yeah. And that's what they yeah. told us to you. We just want to let you know, we don't see no race because you guys are all equal pieces of shit yeah. as far as we're concerned. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. and that's how, that's how, how, I mean, the bond that you form from that with those other Marines mm -hmm. that are there. I think is stronger yeah. because of that, right? Yeah. You guys realize we came out of the fire together and mm -hmm. this is why the, that bond is always so strong. When yeah. you talk to Marines or um, mostly military in general, yeah. but I, I noticed that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I work with a lot of Marines yeah. and you could tell that, that, that bond is very close even with them that yeah. didn't even know each other until they started to work yeah, together. You right. know, they, it was just like, Oh, you're yeah. a Marine. Okay. Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. What yeah. was your MOS? You know, yeah. and, then, you yeah. know, and then especially if you find out the other guy's a grunt, yeah. you know, <laughs> the O threes, O three elevens, O three forty ones, O three thirty ones, O three fifty ones, you know, we all, you know, so explain a little bit of that to me. Um, so, uh, O three, um, well, I should say zero three hundred is mm -hmm. is the infantry. Okay. So anybody with the designator of zero three, which we always just call it O three. Okay. You know, is is a grunt, and okay. then we call ourselves grunts, just like you know the army does. They have grunts. You know, we're all in the infantry. Yeah. And that's why a lot of times too, if you see a uh, grunt from the army, he kind of. You know, yeah. you may be, he may have been with the army, but we're, we're all, we're, we're infantry, we so same, we all yeah. did the same, you Got know, it. we're all in the same gang, as they say, right? And a grunt, um, a grunt is what? Is, um, is basically a, is, is an infantryman. Infantryman. Yeah. So we're the, we're the front line kind front of. Front lines, okay. you know, those guys, yeah. Okay. So, um, so 0311 would be uh, a rifleman, mm -hmm. 0331 would be a machine gunner. 0341, which was I was, was a mortarman, and okay. then 0351 would be well. At my time, it was a dragon. Okay, it was an anti-tank missile. Oh. But now they have, I think it's oh God, what is those things called? <sighs> I can't remember the dang name. It's a different <laughs> missile, same kind of thing. They take the anti tank weapon. Yeah. Um, so um, yeah, so uh, 03. Uh, 41s and 51s are with weapons company, and then 0331s and 0311s are usually in the okay. line company. So, so what were you doing in there? What was your position to do? Uh, what What were you taking care of in there? Oh, okay. So, um, so through boot camp, everybody you know is the same. Doesn't matter what you yeah. know because you you know some of us sign up to go to the infantry, some of us sign up maybe to go MPs, some of us maybe sign up to go admin you know just they did, you take a test which is the asvab test yeah. and then they kind of tell you where you could be placed okay and so my thing was i took the asvab tips asvab test and um my recruiter was like okay well you can either go to the mps or you can go into the uh, infantry and i'm like okay well, i want to go to mps and he goes 
<laughs> so he's like, well, he goes, just in case, you might want to think about, you know, going uh, um, open contract, you know, because this way you only have a three-year stint. And if you don't like it, you get out three years. If you go contracted MPs, you're going to have to do four years, right? Oh, okay. Little did I realize the more infantry guys they get in, he gets a bonus, you know. Oh. I didn't find out till afterward, of course, <laughs> right? So stupid, you. stupid me, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah. like... Huh, three years, yeah, you got a point, maybe if I don't like it, you know, then I only have to, you know, in the last year, you know, blah. And I go, but is there a chance I could, you know, become an MP with that open contract? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, open contract, they could send you anywhere, you know. Got it. And so I'm like, <sighs> okay, let's, you know, so boom, made the decision, open contract. So, of course, you know, I get sent to the grunts. But anyway, but you don't know until you graduate. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's, uh, what, uh, God, I went to four, eight, 12, 16. Yeah, four, four months? No, three months. It's three months. We're, we're, we're actually, the Marine Corps has the longest boot camp. You know, I think yeah. the Army's next with uh, tw 10, and then the Navy has eight. And I think the Air Force is like wow. six or something like that. You know, so yeah. it's three months. Yeah. And, uh, dude, I, it's the longest three months that you will. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> I so, mean, so how, what's day one look like on boot camp? Um, so day one for us, because we had to go into this thing called receiving barracks. Okay. And so receiving barracks, you were in there for a week, could be two, but it was only a week for us. In the summertime, they usually like could be two to three weeks. Yeah. You know, but because the platoons are just, or the companies are just so huge that they have so many recruits in the summertime. So I was in February, which was, you know, kind of like their, you know, off season, I guess you could say, yeah. right? And so I was only in receiving barracks one week. So receiving barracks, you do have a drill instructor, but he's not, he's, he's like, so what they do is they have drill instructors that say they have a platoon. And once they finish with that series, then they get a little break, but they're still working in the drill field. So yeah. they, they do like receiving barracks, you know, so they'll take over a platoon of, you know, recruits just coming in. And this guy, you know, he, you know, it was more like a, um, a mentor, mm -hmm. you know, very, very rarely yelled, you know, kind of thing like that, you know, more just trying to get you, yeah. you know, teaching us, you know, okay, this is what you need to, because you know, we had to iron our own, our own uniforms. We had to, you know, uh, wash our own uniforms. And everything had to be perfect. Yeah. Right? You know, right. shine your boots, had to teach you how to spit shine yeah. boots and, you know, all this stuff, um, you know, to have the military alignment and everything like that. So this guy was just basically running through this stuff. And then after the first week, then we get our, um, our drill instructors. Mm -hmm. And um, in the Marine Corps, you know, you have you have uh, light green Marines and dark green Marines. Light yeah. green Marines would be, you know, whites and Hispanics and Asians and stuff. Dark Marines, of course, were the blacks. You know, yeah. that's what they. That's the Marine Corps. That's the only designated they you use. You either really? light, you know, dark green Marine or light green Marine. Yeah. So, um, so we get our uh, drill instructors, and we're in in, in uh, platoon formation at attention. We're standing there waiting for our drill instructors to get there, and. Yeah, we had we had <laughs> two black drill instructors and one Mexican, yeah. right? And then we got another uh, drill instructor later. So, um, but our senior drill instructor, now I'm, I'm talking, you know, forty three years ago. Right? Yeah. What year are we talking? Eighty one. Eighty one. Yeah. Okay. Senior drill instructor, Staff Sergeant Smith. Mm -hmm. Then I had Sergeant Drill Instructor Sergeant McKinney. Drill instructor Sergeant Gonz Staff Sergeant Gonzalez, mm -hmm. and then we had drill instructor Corporal Logan. Okay, how the hell you remember those four <laughs> names after forty three years? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know? I know how <laughs> yeah. exactly. So, I mean, these guys, especially as black drill instructors, they talk so much shit to us. I mean, and you know, and you and some of the stuff was like freaking hilarious, you know, but you yeah. can't laugh, you yeah. know. Um, so, you know, I mean, and we would sit there and we would try not to laugh and, oh my God, because some, because especially Sergeant McKinney, he would talk so much shit. To just and what, like, was anything off limits to them? No. Oh no. no. Oh, they right, would right. talk about your mom, your okay. dad, your grandmother, your sister, your, you know, your girlfriends, you know, if yeah. they found out you had a girlfriend, that was it. No. You were, yeah. So you're like, oh, I don't have a girlfriend, you know, <laughs> because they would talk, so, I'm going to go visit her you know, tonight, yeah. you know, yeah. it's all, you know, all this crazy stuff. So, um, you know, and then, you know, if they, they make fun of where you came came from uh you know uh you know me was always my height thing you know yeah because I, mean, I you know i was i'm, I'm five three and you know yeah. it's like you know i'm the <laughs> smallest guy in the platoon i mean you know they said line up by you know size and i just go straight to the back yeah. you know because i just knew 
So, um, but yeah, I mean, they would, they, you know, and if they found something that they, that they, um, you know, that, you know, maybe they could see it in your face, maybe pissed you off. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, they would just light Abuse it up it. even more. Yeah. Oh, just even more. So, um, yeah. And so it was the, th- what, what was something that you would think that you wouldn't hear in the Marines them say, like if somebody was to just say, they don't say that to you guys in there. Like what was something bad that you can remember being said? What was it? Oh, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, it was funny, but we had we we had one black uh, Marine that was in our platoon. Right. Uh And they called him Private Spot. Spot? Spot. Yeah. Why? (laughs) Because he would would stand up there. Uh, and You know? Yeah. Uh, You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was I was just like. He just kept that name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's that's, that was his name. Yeah. 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 Private Spot. Get up here. Sir. Private Spot. Report. That's what he had. You know, you know, that remind the reason why I asked that is because. You know, Full Metal Jacket. That's my that's my extensive yeah. extensive knowledge yeah. of yeah. of Marines yeah. and stuff like that, and uh, Gomer Pyle and oh, you yeah, know, Joker Pyle. and yeah. all you know all these names. Yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. I want to hear some cool. Yeah, names. no, it's a uh, yeah. I mean, that's you know, like we had another guy that was uh, our admin guy because they have you know they have uh, duty hut privates, they had admin private. You know, they would you yeah. know find these guys that you know were like you know pretty good typing or yeah. whatever you know, and they would do the you know certain things. So <laughs> we had a, one guy, was, I still remember his name, Highmore, you know, because me and him were like almost the same size. Yeah. Um, and uh, he had these thick bottle, yeah. you know, Coke bottle glasses, right? Well, they called him Private Eyes. Private Eyes. Yeah. So they so were like, so like yeah. Private Eyes, you know? And so the thing was is that we had to, everybody, you know, once if he calls for somebody like, you know, Private Eyes, we all have to stand up at attention and say, sir, Private Eyes, I, sir. Yeah. And then he'd run, you know, Go and then him. he'd stand in front, sir, Private Eyes reporting his duty, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like private spot, you know, private yeah. spot, sir, private spot, <laughs> I, sir. And he'd, freaking, he'd run up there, you know, and so, um, but yeah, so they had, uh, they had, and I, you know, that's, it's sad. I can't remember the guy's name, but, you know, private spot, you know, so, you know, because he was the only uh, black Marine, mm-hmm. they made him guide, which the guide is basically the, the, uh, the, the uh, platoon leader or the platoon guide on. Mm-hmm. And so he's the one that's the flag. Yeah, he's yeah. got the guide on flag and he's the one that's, you know, whatever orders, you know, goes through him and then he's got to interpret got it. Okay. So they had him up there for a little bit and he didn't, you know, do good. So they, they fired him, you know. And then, so then we had this other guy that uh, was tall, skinny dude. I can't remember his name either. Shit, you know, but anyway. And, you know, he was good, you mm-hmm. know. And so, you know, but, you know, and then they had four squad leaders. And I'm, all, you know, I'm always in the back. You know, yes. Yeah. This guy, man, I got to be in the back, right? So, um, yeah, so this was the way, and then he had this thing called the classroom, you know, he, you know, he'd, all right, get into the classroom, right? Well, yeah. the classroom wasn't a classroom. The classroom was where they just dogged the crap yeah. out of you, <laughs> you know, I mean, had you doing all kinds of stuff, you know, get in the classroom, you know? Yeah. You know, if you, if you screwed up, you know, they would, you know, that, that was it, that the you know, push up, sit ups, you know, bends and thrusts, you know, which was, they called burpees, yeah. you know, what they called burpees, uh, mountain climbers, you know, just make you do jump a jacks, you did just constantly. Yeah. And I mean, you know, the classroom might be five minutes, the classroom, it could be 30 minutes, depending on how much time they had, yeah. you know, between <laughs> where they had to do things, you know? Yeah. So if there was downtime, somebody's good, somebody Somebody was going to get picked to go in the classroom, yeah. you know, and so you're trying to be state, look busy, you know, like if we had downtime, it was like same boots, yeah. you know, like, I mean, I'm in my uniform, you know, yeah. that's RJ. yes, sir, get in the classroom, <laughs> you know, and that's the thing, too, they could cuss all they want, but don't you cuss, oh, you yeah. better not cuss, no cuss word better come out of your mouth, because, wow. dog, it would make it worse. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine anything coming out of your mouth. Really. Yeah, it's pretty like, much, yeah, unless it was yes, sir, or no, sir, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, so did it ever get, I know movies and everything, you can't trust anything that usually goes right. in the movies. I know you said that some of these movies are close yeah. to the real thing. Yeah. Were they physical with you guys as well? Uh, some of us. Yeah. yeah. Some of us were, okay. some of, some guys, yeah, did get hit, you know, right. they were trying to stop that, you know? Yeah. I mean, because when I went in, you're talking, you know, what, five years after Vietnam, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. maybe, yeah, five years. Yeah. I think. Because Vietnam ended in 75, yeah, six years. Six yeah. years. Yeah. So you still had that, you know, mentality of Vietnam, you know, yeah. but they were trying to stop the, because, I mean, before that, I mean, they would beat the crap out of people, man. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I remember one of our guys got, uh, <laughs> you know, wasn't doing his manual of arms, right? Because they got the thing, manual arms, you know, you know, port arms, you know, right yeah. shoulder arms, that stuff. He wasn't doing the port, yeah. <laughs> freaking drill truck comes by. 
grabs, cracks the rifle out of his hands, yeah. but the rifle hit him in the head, you know? It caused him a little cut, yeah. and he's like, hmm, blood, that's good. You know, he walks yeah. away. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, I mean, but, yeah, I mean, a couple of guys got hit, you know, and everything like that, and, uh, you know, just, you know, but most of the time the penalty was is just to trash you, you know, exercise the shit out of you until, yeah. you know, some of the, they actually, I mean, which was the first time I ever seen, what was that guy Simmons? Private, see, it's weird how you can remember yeah, this guy's name. Private crazy. Simmons, another guy was, you know, maybe he was probably like maybe five five or something, like, kind of chunky, you know. Um, but um, uh, he got called into the classroom, and they were just, I mean, he had been in there, I don't know, a long time, you mm -hmm. know. And they were, and so finally, just like you know, I, I can't do it, sir. I can't do it. He goes, What do you mean you can't do it? You're gonna do it, you know. And finally, he just he broke. Wow. And he freaking curled up in a ball and just started crying. And I mean, convulsing crying, you know, that convulsing. Yeah. And he goes, Simmons, are you going to die? Are you going to die on me, Simmons? He's like, yes, sir, I'm going to die. He goes, do you want your mommy? Yes, sir, I want my mommy. He goes, well, cry, cry for your mommy. I want you to cry for your mommy. He's like, oh, let me hear you call your mommy. He's like, mommy. He goes, do you want to go home? Yes, I want to go. Yeah, broke him. Wow. Broke him. They actually had, uh, they had to call the lieutenant, uh, the company commander, and had some MPs come in and take him out, wow. and that was the last time we ever saw him. He, so they, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was just—we were all just like—and I mean, I was—you know—we were just like, "What the?" Fuck I mean, it sounds rough happened? to say, but you don't want that, no, right? You, you don't. You can't, you can't have. Yeah, you can't, you can't have that. Yeah, yeah, you don't want it. You can't have it. So yeah, I mean, he, they broke, they broke a couple guys um, that were, uh, you know, um, yeah, couldn't hack it. You know, that's you know. Yeah. And, and you know, and then the first thing they say after that, they go, anybody else want to join them? We're all like, yeah. no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> back to shining those yeah, boots. Like, <laughs> no, you know. Yeah. So I mean, you know, and boot camp is just, you know, it, you know, you look back at it, you know, and I mean, you you start laughing at some of the stuff, but at the time when you were in there, you don't laugh no, because not, it wasn't yeah. funny. But now it's funny some of the stuff that happened, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, we uh, so you, you have three phases in boot camp. The first phase is all um, uh, drilling and learning, you know, the, the Marine Corps traditions and, you know, going to classes and things like that and learning all these different things. And you have to study and the whole thing. They give you tests. And, yeah. and if you fail a test, oh, my God, you better not fail a test. That's all I got to say. Yeah. You know, and then you have inspections, you know, uh, every day inspections every day you know and then at night you know um you have uh what they call a body health and health and health inspection mm -hmm. you know where you stand on your foot locker you yeah. know with your shower shoes you know your flip-flops you know your yeah. slippers you know the hawaiian say yeah. slippers <laughs> you know and you're in your boxers and t-shirt and that's it you know and they stand at attention and they walk down the aisle and they you know lift up your hand and make sure you, you know the, your fingernails are clean, you know, yeah. they can see your toes, make sure you, you know, yeah. and make sure basically you're taking a shower. Yeah. Because if you don't take your shower, guess what? They're going to make you take a shower. Oh, yeah. And you ain't going to like the way they make you take a shower. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we didn't have any problems with people not taking showers, so that was good. But we heard stories about guys that didn't take showers and mm -hmm. the drill instructors went in there with scrub brushes and just wow. yeah, scrubbed them. Yeah. So this, yeah. So anyway, um, but, you know, there's no privacy. Mm-hmm. Um, you go into the bathroom and the urinal, urinals are, you know, open. all open. The, the shitters, you know, yeah. are all open. Yeah. So I like where we are right now. That's probably like how we, we could be shitting, you know, yeah. Hey man, what's going on? Yeah. Pass me some toilet paper, you know, whatever, yeah. you know? Um, but you know, um, you know, you can't go into the, the head, you know, and take your time, you mm -hmm. know, and it's like, you know, two minutes, you better be done shitting. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, get in and get out, you yeah. know, kind of thing. Um, and you guys got to be clean shaven mm -hmm. and every all day. So gotta, every, yeah, no mustache, out, no gotta, mustache. You know, no. Uh -huh. I mean, I, you know, they would kill me if they they had you know, yeah. they, you know, <laughs> I couldn't have this stuff I got going on now. Um, but um, like you know, showers. You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, I had to shower. You know, playing football, you had open yeah. showers yeah. and everything. Yeah. Same thing. You know, open yeah. showers and other, And some of these. Uh, you know, kids now, man, they wouldn't. I don't even think they'd be able to handle it because yeah. you know. Yeah, I mean, you hear about it. I think, I I, I think I was um, talking to somebody about that, and they were saying that guys were jumping in the shower with their boxers, 
And I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. I didn't even do that in football. No. When no. I was in football in yeah. high school, I was taking a shower. Yeah, you know, take a shower. You, you know, yeah, it just, things change. The whole team's know. in there all naked, butt ass naked. Yeah. The same thing in the Marine Corps. There's all the freaking platoons in there all yeah. butt naked. Yeah. You know, it was it was like, okay, no big deal. Fuck it. You know, just yeah. wash and get out. Um, showers, yeah, same thing, like two minutes, you know, you mm-hmm. better make sure you you know and the drill instructor standing so right there. So you shaving in there too? Yeah. And you're just trying yeah. to knock everything, everything out, out at like the same time. Yeah, you know. I mean, um, you know, and the drill instructor standing right at the door. You know, whoever got bathroom duty f- yeah. as a drill instructor he's got his, he's standing there like this yeah <laughs> making sure everybody's taking a shower you wow. know if somebody's not using soap you better be using soap you yeah. know and you know go shower shave you know and then get done you know yeah um every night every night you had to take showers nothing in the morning because they had you know it's zero dark 30 in the morning you're getting up and you know they come yeah. in there with the garbage cans and you know, just so that's real. Just, yeah, yeah, that's oh, okay. real. Yeah, yeah, you know, or sometimes they'll, if they're pissed off and they get up in the morning, they throw the garbage can down the middle of the squad bay. Get up, get fucking asses up. Uh, and it was never good morning, Marie. How are you? <laughs> no, get yeah. your fucking ass out of that goddamn rack. You know, so um, yeah, so you know, bed has to be made. You know, exact. You know, the you know hospital corners. You know, the the sheets has to be folded. Just, you know, I mean, everything had to be. My just, grandfather used to tell me to do like a quarter check. Yeah. The mm-hmm. bounce the quarter. The bounce the yeah. quarter, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy the things they do, you know. And then, I mean, they would, you know, they if they didn't like one, if they found one cot mm-hmm. that was jacked up, everybody paid. Yeah. They would throw mattresses, rip yeah. sheets off. I mean, and like, oh, that creates that team mentality, right? Yeah. Everybody, you're yeah. not just worried about your bunk mm-hmm. or your cot. Mm-hmm. You're looking at your buddy, yeah. and he's looking at that buddy. Yeah. And, yeah. Exactly. So, you know, so you're like, hey, dude, fix this. Man. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but you learn, you know, it was, yeah. it was an individual. It's a team effort, you know, just like when you play football. It's not an individual. It's all about the team, you know. So that's yeah. the thing that you, um, they ingrain that in you. And uh, guys like, like us or that I had in my platoon that had played sports and mm-hmm. stuff, they they understood that. Yeah. It's the individuals that, you know, this was, you know. Yeah. You know. Foreign. I mean, it was yeah. all new to me, too, but some certain aspects of it, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, yeah. this is a team thing. Sticking guys. together. We got yeah. yeah, you know, we got to do this together. Um, helping your, you know, your Marines out, to, you know, or your recruits at the time because we weren't considered Marines. Yeah. Um, helping them out, you know, whatever way you can. You know, sometimes, you know, you got, you know, you're helping, you, you know, we're going on humps, you know, with the freaking, you know, backpack that's, you know, or Alice pack, as you'd say, that's what I called it back then. That's like twice, twice as big as me. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, yeah. it's all you saw was backpack. You know, where's, where's, where's Troje at? You know, I can't even see him. It's big yeah. open, you know, um, and, uh, you know, yeah, you, you know, helping guys, you know, help. Yeah. Holding on to his pack so he can keep going, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. So, um, you know, certain things that you just do, you just don't even think about it. It's a team thing. Now, so, do they did they get on you guys for like going back helping guys, or were they expecting you guys to do that? Um, they they would talk crap to the person that was falling out. That needed as they the call falling out. Got you it. know, yeah. If you went back to help them, they would yell at you. But they understood, okay, you know, yeah, 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 we want it. Yeah, but, but we, we gotta, don't want we it, you know. <laughs> yeah, feel you know? the pain. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. you know. And then those guys that have fallen out, oh, my God, when you finish, you know, just did a five, yeah. ten-mile, you know, hump, as they yeah. call it, you know, yeah, they would be trashing them, and these guys are just yeah. dead, you know, so. Um, and this is six months boot camp? Yeah. Uh, no, it's three. Three, three months, months. Okay, yeah, sorry. Three months, three, three months, months yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Six months as a police academy. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like what no. I'm hearing right here. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, so so you're in there um, three months. Yeah. And at three months, are they giving you guys your job description yeah. after that? Yeah. Okay. And and I, you know, I, I remember what I was going to be talking about. So like that first first month is all this, you know, uh, le- uh, learning skills and you know, drilling and, you know, getting your, you know, manual arms and how to, you know, doing all this stuff, right? Yeah. And learning how to clean your weapon and stuff. The second phase, which is the next month, is you go up to uh, ITS, Mm -hmm. which is infantry training school, Mm -hmm. and then you go to the range. And this is where you get your marksman instruction. So, um, so you go to this place uh, down south, which is called Edson Range, which is maybe an hour or two away from MCRD, and it's another... Uh, camp that the Marines have. Yeah. And that's where you do all your training up there. Um, Edson Range is, uh, let's say, I think it's Camp Pendleton, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's in Camp Pendleton. Yeah. yeah. So um, you go there and you're doing all your, your 
basically infantry training, learning your marksmanship skills and all that stuff. And uh, it's it's pretty intense because you know, I mean, it's the first time I all my years, yeah. never my parents didn't have guns. You know, um, I never sh- uh, shot a gun before except for a BB gun. Yeah. And here I'm get they're giving you this M16 rifle and it's just like teaching you how to be a marksman. Yeah. yeah. You know, <laughs> and it's it's strange, too, because it's you the way they teach. And I mean, I imagine they probably do it in other branches, but I don't know, because I've never, you know, even yeah. asked some of my other friends or other branch, but they break it down to you so well that. The majority of the guys are coming out with expert and sharpshooter. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I mean, I came out in boot camp as a sharpshooter, but when I got into the fleet or whatever, you know, my then I be, started shooting expert, which is kind of strange, you know, because you would think that you wouldn't, you know. It was, so from never touching a gun yeah. to being an expert. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, um, so that was, you know, I mean, and that's the whole thing too, that, you know, and they used to say, you know, you better not go unk, which is, you know, unqualified, you know, but mm-hmm. they just call it unk. Yeah. You know, don't go unk on this range. Don't go. And so in the meantime, while you're at the range and, and doing all this stuff, and I mean, it, you know, you're getting up at zero dark 30, going to eat chow, then you go in and it's like all day, you know, snapping in with snapping in is basically dry firing. And yeah. So we did that for hours, wow. hours, hours, yeah. you know, and then you go to the range and finally live firing and understanding how to do, you know, how that goes. And it's just, it's really strict. Very, very, I mean, you better not even look sideways on the range because they will snatch yeah. you off the range real quick. I mean, that's how serious they take the, the weapon safety. Yeah. Um, because they've had incidents. As, as they should, right? Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. something, something happened to yeah. make it like that. Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, so they, you know, and I mean, you didn't never felt unsafe being out there. You know, yeah. Everything was, you know, pretty much uh, regimented. So, um, and, uh, they have these guys called PMI instructors, primary marksman instructors. Mm-hmm. And those guys were really good. They didn't yell, you know, but they would be stern with you if you screwed up. But yeah. they were, because they know, I have to teach this guy how to shoot. I have to teach this guy, this is going to save his life if yeah. he ever gets into the shit. Yeah. And so they didn't really do the, you know, fuck with you kind of thing, as they say in the, you know, uh, but like the drill instructors, that was their job. Um, but also to teach. But these guys were just strictly just trying to, Focus. And I remember um, one of our PMI instructors. He was, uh, you know, he was instructing me, and he was, and he was talking to me, you know. And he seems that I'm getting pissed because I'm not shooting the way. And he goes, "Listen to me." He goes, "You got to learn to relax. That's your problem. Stop tensing up yeah. and look at the target and breathe and relax." Because he goes, "You're not going to be able to fire this weapon if you're all tensed up and getting pissed off because you're missing the target." You know, because I mean, I'm a, first time I'm, sh- I'm shooting, you know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> all over, you know yeah. hitting the ground, you know, I mean, but so, they're, but they're, te- but they're, but they're teaching you the way they're teaching you is to like, stay out of your head. Mm-hmm. Just focus on what your goal is, is yep. to hit that target. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Cause I, and I remember so after, they're teaching you breathing, yeah, they're teaching exactly. you everything. everything. Yeah. You know, you know oh. and I remember after, you know, the thing was over and I qualified, he came up to me, he goes, see, see, look yeah. at you now. Yeah. You know, because you weren't even in the target. Now look at you, you know, yeah. so it works, you know. Um, but so then you do that portion of the boot camp. And then the last phase is um, basically uh, getting ready to graduate um, more drilling because we have this big, they call it a parade where all the platoons are mm-hmm. in the um or all the companies, I should say, in that are in third phase, they go a competition. Yeah. And you marching and drilling and all that stuff. Um, so so anyway, let me move back. So they at like it like like at uh the second phase when we do the marksman training didn't go to infantry training, that's when they really, really just dog the crap out of you because yeah. they're making you hump with just you know, heavy packs and yeah. just, you know, learning how to put up, you know, your, your uh, shelter half. Cause basically Marines, each, each Marine carries a half of a tent. Yeah. So that's why they call it a shelter half. So Got basically, it. you know, so you are teaching you how to put that up and teaching you how to, you know, put up defenses and how to, you know, assault, you know, a, you know, the enemy. And I would imagine a good portion of the Marines is physical, right? It they're, is. They're, it they're, is. They got you yeah. moving all the time. All the yeah. time. All the time. I mean, we have, uh, PT tests, you know, mm-hmm. um, you take a PT test when you first get there, when you, when you're finally assigned the platoon so they can see where you're at mm-hmm. PT test and, you know, which is a major uh, test in the second phase and then PT test for your graduation. Yeah. So if you don't, if you, you could go all the way to third phase and if you fail that test, gone, wow. go back, you got to go back yeah. to another phase. Um, 
So, and same thing with the marksmanship. You know, if you don't pass your marksmanship, boom, send you back. Send you back. You know, and so you got to go back. So, um, so, so I interrupted you about the tents. So explain that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So the shelter half, they call them. <laughs> and so, you know, it's basically one half. Of, so I carry a half and you would carry a half. Yeah. And then we'd come together and we'd put our got you know, tents together. So um, so they teach you how to do all that, you know, and um, tactics and just everything, you know, about you need to know about um, inf- the infantry. So um, and then um, they have they have these uh, they call them mount. Mount, Mount Motherfucker and uh, what's the other one called? Oh, God. I can't remember the other mountain. But anyways, they make you humped. And I mean, this thing yeah. is like, you know. <laughs> yeah, straight up. <laughs> straight yeah. up. Yeah. Guys are falling. You know? yeah. Guys have fell, you know, uh, rolled down. and uh, Yeah, and they don't care. Get that up. You know, yeah. all those guys are all, you know, we have. And they're going with you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No, the drill strippers yeah. are. Yeah. You know, they're going with us. And um, you know, every day, you know, it was always, you know, we you have PT in the morning um, you know, running and doing all these things, you know, doing pull-ups and, you know, obstacle courses and things like that. You know, the, the um, uh, the confidence course, which mm-hmm. is confidence course is this big, big giant, you know, contraptions. You got to yeah. climb ropes all, you know, like 50 feet, you know, wow. touch the top, you know, you go up these different things and yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. And then like, um, at, uh, it's in range too. You learn to repel, mm-hmm. which is cool. That was cool. Yeah, you know, 150 foot tower, and you're repelling off that thing. That's it's badass. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's just certain things they, they teach how, you. How did you do in the physical parts of it? 